My name is Marko Kozokar and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create the Matrix Movie Poster Effect in Photoshop. I'm going to explain everything in so much detail that everyone can create the effect. Even those who have just opened the Photoshop for the first time. If you would like to create this effect in just a couple of seconds, then go to the Envato Elements and search for the Matrix Photoshop Action. Here you can find a thousands of Photoshop Actions. With the Matrix Photoshop Action, you can transform your photos into various Matrix effects with no work at all. You simply open your photo, brush over your subject and just play the action. The action will do all the work for you, leaving you fully layered and customizable results that you can customize to further build the design. After you open your photo in Photoshop, before you get started, there are a few things you should check. Go to the Image, Mode and make sure that your photo is in the RGB color mode 8 bit scan. Then go to the Image, Image Size and make sure that your photo is somewhere between 45 and 6500 pixels wide or high. Then make sure that your photo is the background layer. It should be called the background and have this little lock icon. If you have something like this or anything else, just go to the layer, new, background from layer. Now we need to expand the camera size so we have more space around the subject. We want more space on the top, bottom and on the left side of the subject. To do so, go to the image, camera size, make sure to check the relative option and click here to choose in which direction you wish to expand the canvas. Increase the white for 250 pixels and height for 500 pixels. Now we need to select our subject. Go to the Select Subject to make a basic selection of the subject. This is an automatic process. Now we need to make sure that our selection is perfect. We also want to select the chair with the subject. To do so, choose the Quick Selection tool and using the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard, add or remove the areas from the selection. Once we have the perfect selection, go to the Select Modify, Smooth and set the sample radius to 2 pixels. Then go to the Select, Modify, Contract and set the contract by to 1 pixel. Once more go to the Select, Modify, Feather and set the feather radius to 1 pixel. Now press Ctrl J on your keyboard to create a new layer using the selection. We are going to name this layer Subject. Now we need to create the background for the effect. Select the background layer, go to the layer New Fill Layer, Solid Color to create a new Solid Color Fill Layer and name this layer Background Color. Set the color code to F2, F2, F2. Now right click on this layer and choose Blending Options. Check the Gradient Overlay and set the Blending Mode of this style to Soft Light. We are going to set the Opacity to 50% and we also need to change the Gradient. We are going to use the Foreground to Transparent Gradient. Set the color of both color stops to White Color. And make sure that the Opacity of the top right Opacity stop is set to 0% and of the top left to 100%. And we are also going to change the style to Reflected. I'm just going to collapse this effect. Now select the Subject Layer and go to Layer, New, Layer to create a new layer and name it Temp. Now while the Temp layer is selected, control click on the Subject Layer thumbnail to make a selection of the subject. Then go to the Filter Render and choose Clouds. Now press Ctrl D on your keyboard to deselect the selection. Now we need to hide all the layers except the Temp layer. Now go to Select, Color Range and make sure to set the Select to Highlights, Fuzziness to 20% and Range to 190. Once you have the selection, go to the Select, Select and Mask to further adjust the selection. We are going to set the smooth to 50, leave the feather and contrast to 0, 
and set the shift edge to 25%. Go to the Select, Modify, Expand and set the Expand by to 50 pixels. Now select the Subject layer, press Ctrl J on your keyboard to create a new layer using the selection. Go to the Filter, Distort, Wave, type the correct settings, You're going to leave this option default and make sure to set the type to sign. Now you can select the temp layer and press delete on your keyboard to delete this layer as we won't further need it. Now we need to transform these waves so they are wider than the subject. Press Ctrl T on your keyboard and set the white to 125%. Now drag this layer just below the subject layer. Turn on all other layers and change the blending mode of this layer to Vivid Light. Then name this layer W1. You can repeat this process to create as many waves layers as you want. I have repeated it three times so I got four waves layers in total. When I go through these layers you will see that each layer has a different blending mode as well as the opacity. You can use different color range, select a mask, wave, transform and other settings to create a various waves. Now we need to blend our subject with the effect. Select your subject and alt click and drag just below the subject layer to duplicate it. Go to the filter, distort, wave and use these settings. This time set the type to square. We are going to name this layer Subject Stretch. Now select the Subject layer and Ctrl click on this layer thumbnail to make a selection of this layer. Then go to the Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal Selection, to add a layer mask that is going to reveal the selected area of the layer and hide the rest. Go to Filter, Distort, Wave and use the same settings as the previous time, but this time Set the type to sign. Now while you have the layer mask selected, choose the brush tool, right click anywhere inside the canvas to bring up the brushes panel and pick a soft brush. You can switch between the black and white foreground colors to brush over your subject depending on if you wish to reveal or hide the subject details. Here is my result. Then go to the Properties panel and set the density of the layer mask to 75%. Now we need to add the text to the effect. Choose the Vertical Type tool and click and drag to create a new text box. Make sure that the text box covers the whole canvas. Set the correct font settings as well as the color. Also go to the Character panel and set the Line Height to 50 pixels. Now type your text. I have just pasted the random text. Now I'm just going to expand a little bit this text box to make sure that the text will cover the whole canvas. Go to the layer, layer mask and choose hide all. To add a layer mask that is going to hide the whole layer. Now with the layer mask selected, choose the brush tool, set foreground color to white and brush wherever you wish your text to appear. Here is my result. Now change the blending mode of the text layer to color burn and set the opacity to 70%. Also name this layer text. Now we need to add some color to the effect. So go to the layer, new adjustment layer and choose curves. 
name this layer color look as we are going to use it to add the color to the image. Select the red channel and make the appropriate changes. Now change the opacity of this layer to 85%. Go to the layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map, and name this layer overall contrast as we are going to use it to add the contrast to the effect. Change the blending mode of this layer to luminosity and set the opacity to 33%. Now we need to improve the brightness. So go to the layer, new adjustment layer, levels, and name this layer overall brightness. Now move the top right slider to boost the highlights, and move a little bit this bottom left slider to fade the shadows. Now go to the layer, new adjustment layer, vibrance, to create a new vibrance adjustment layer that we are going to use to boost both vibrance and the saturation of the effect. Name it overall vibrance saturation and choose OK. Now set the vibrance to 40 and set the saturation to 20. Now press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and D keys on your keyboard to make a screenshot of the whole effect. Then press Ctrl, Shift and U to desaturate this layer. Go to Filter, Other, High Pass and set the radius to 1 pixel. Now change the blending mode of this layer to Hard Light and drop down the opacity to 80%. This layer is going to give the sharpening to the whole effect, so we are going to name it Overall Sharpening. We have too much of the empty space on the right side of the subject, so we are going to crop the image. Choose the Crop tool and transform the crop box correctly to cut the empty space on the right. I hope you understood everything. Don't forget that you can create this effect with an action. Just look for the Matrix Photoshop action over on Invado Elements. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Marco and thank you for watching.